Hi, this is Loki from Beta Folders. Today we'll take a look at how to play the coronavirus puzzles in Foldit. Specifically, we're going to take a look at the intermediate level puzzles. There's a, there's a beginner level coronavirus puzzle that's a little bit easier to work with if you're just starting out. But this one is the real thing. And we'll show some of the settings that apply to Foldit in general and uh, just some tips and tricks for how to get around and fold it in this video. And uh, then in the next video, we'll take a look at uh, how to build something that might score relatively well and fold it uh, pretty quickly. So to start out, uh, I'd like to look at the view options first. And I've left everything pretty much uh, at the default settings here. And you get just a very short list of view options. So what I like to do is go over here to what I call the menu menu, click on menu, click on general options, or you can use the shortcut control T to get to general options. And I like to click on show advanced GUI. And that changes the view menu and several other little things in Foldit. And I've already turned off sound effects and background music because uh, those get old pretty fast. So I'm going to say I'm done with the general options menu. I'm going to click on the view menu and all of a sudden it's a larger menu and a lot more options. And I like that, but right now we don't need any of these options. So I'm going to turn most of them off. I'll turn off show clashes. I'll turn off show exposed. I'll turn off show voids. Those all have nice logical keyboard shortcuts as well. I'll turn off show bonds, also a logical keyboard shortcut. And uh, here in view side chains, I'll leave this show stubs feature enabled and we'll look at that in a little bit more detail. But I'll turn off show side chains with clashes or exposed. And I'll turn off pulse while working, which is cool, but gets kind of annoying after a while. So that's it for the view options. Now up here under objectives, um, if you ever see a red line through your score, you can open up this drop down and there'll be some red text up here at the top explaining why your score is not valid at the moment and what you have to fix to make it valid. But right now it has these uh, conditions or uh, filters as they were originally called that can add or set, subtract points from your score. So uh, for example, I've got this core existence one saying 300 points, which is good, but not enough residues in the core. So what that's trying to tell you is that uh, you could be earning some more points here if you do something right. And you can look at the uh, puzzle comments uh, just by clicking on the puzzle name up here at the top, and that will open the web page for your, the puzzle on the Foldit website and give you more information about the filters and, and things like that. So the next thing to, we want to look at is how you navigate in here. And, and just by dragging on the background, and I'm just uh, left clicking and dragging on the white background here, I can rotate, rotate things around, or if I drag up or down, I can rotate them that way. And then if I shift click and drag on the background, if I drag upwards, I zoom out, it makes everything smaller. And if I drag downwards, I zoom in and makes everything larger. So uh, the next question uh, before we get started is, what is all this stuff here? So up here at the top is actually a, a portion of the coronavirus. Uh, this is the spike protein that you see in all the pictures. Just a small part of it actually, but, but it is the actual spike protein. So we know the structure of that in three dimensions already because it's just another coronavirus after all. So they had some good starting points and figured it out pretty quickly. And the goal in this puzzle is to design a binder that will actually stick to that spike protein. So the part that will become the binder is this long, straight, what we call an extended chain. Okay, And that goes all the way across here, and so we're going to have to give that a shape. And one thing that, that's, that's kind of uh, important here, and I'm going to zoom way in, some of these these little nubs, these are the, the stubs for the side chains. So some of them up here in the coronavirus spike are colorful, and if you drag on them, you may be able to get them to go to a different position. Okay, so let's change. Oh, there we got it to go to a very different position. And it's complaining about that. 
So some of those are like those, and those are going to be col colored either red or blue. Then some others here, if you try to drag on them, you'll get the message side chain is locked. So that, that, that's an important clue to what's going on in this puzzle. The colorful side chains in here, the ones that can move, are the parts that are believed to be how the coronavirus spike binds to human cells as the first step in infecting the cells. So what we want to do in this puzzle is design something that fits the shape that's created by these movable side chains or the, the area of the movable side chains. And you can see there's kind of a, a curve or a groove to the protein. And so we want to fill in that curve or groove and get something that will hopefully stick to that. So anyway, that's the quick introduction. Some of the tips and tricks you need to navigate and fold it. In the next little bit, we'll take a look at how to uh, give some structure to the uh, binder part and uh, fold it up into something that will probably score well and fold it.